something that I find really annoying when um, doing test automation is the fact that I type in my username and password for different sites that I test and the data is right there. Everybody can see them. I mean, if you go right now to the Lambda Test e-commerce playground, then you can actually go in with this username and password. And also, if I go into the test and I run the test, you you can see the data um, being shown in the test log. Now, is there a way to change this? Let me show you in the next minutes. First, let me prove to you that you can actually see here. So rest the test and the password. Okay, so how can we change this so that you do not see in your tests the full strings? Um, one alternative is or would be to create a separate file, something like a Cypress environment JSON, and here you can add your variables. So here I already added the username and the passwords. So I hope to get one million subs. One can dream. And all that remains is to call the environment, so or to call the two variables in our tests. And how can we do that? And we do that by doing uh, in the type section, we do cypress.environment, and then we tell it the um, name of the variables that we have here. So username and user password. And now if we run the test again, we should actually uh, need to close this one and then run the test again. Like it says here, like or subscribe, or you can even do both. Now let's us let us run the test, and if we did everything right, we should still be able to log in into the account. And as you can see, we log into into, account, into the account, and in our test, uh, we are not showing the values for the username and password. However, we are showing them in the logs right here. So in the logs right here, you can actually see the password. Now, how can we make it that you do not store this, that you do not show this into the logs? Pretty simple. We just need to go back here. And for the section that you want to hide, you do the following. So if we want to hide from the uh, log, we just need to add log false to the command that we want to hide. And I did this for the password. Now let's run this and see if it runs. And then not only if it runs, but if while running, it doesn't show us the actual password in the logs. And we have the email, which we see, and we do not have the password. And there you have it. This is how you can hide your passwords and usernames in Cyprus. As always, thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye-bye.